In case of Bethesda total mod annihilation, please stand by. So let's get right into this. Welcome YouTubers, gamers, people of the internet, and especially all you commonwealthers out there. I'm going to put on some generic Fallout music in the background, and we're going to address the differences between upgrading to the next gen or rolling back to the previous version. So this video is going to target the people that are new to modding. Modding can be really confusing, a lot of stuff makes sense, and then a lot of it doesn't. And the community is mostly not all that helpful, and you can see this by reading through posts on Nexus, as well as over on any of the Reddits. So hopefully this helps you out and lets you decide if going next-gen update or rolling back is best for you. So, you know, long story short, the next-gen update broke the script extender for Fallout 4, and this is needed by some of the important and popular mods, many of which are dependencies for other mods as well. And the way Bethesda games work is, once you mod and start playing a game, your mod list is more or less baked into your save files. All the scripts and things added from mods become just as important as the vanilla game scripts themselves. So because of this, most mods are not safe to disable or remove mid-game. So when the next-gen update hit, those that had modded it ended up having to make a choice. If they used the Fallout 4 script extender, they had to either sit and wait for it to be updated, or they could restart a new game using mods that were updated and staying away from the script extender, or their third option was to roll back to the previous version of the game. And the big question here is, what's best for you? If you're looking to start fresh and you're okay not using mods that require the Fallout 4 script extender, then you should probably update fully to the current version of the game. Going forward, mods are going to be built for the most updated version of the game, and most of the time it's just good practice to play a game on the most updated version released by the devs. But keep in mind, being updated to the most current version of the game isn't going to eliminate issues with mods over the next month or so. This is one of the reasons that I suggest only doing this if you're going to refrain from using any mods that require the script extender. And the main reason is, after the next gen update, the developers of the script extender and several other key mods rushed to try to rebuild their mods so that they could be re-released. And as soon as they did this, Bethesda released another update to fix and address some of the bugs and issues on PC caused by their next gen update, which meant those mods like the script extender that were just updated were now broken again. And it's unclear how many hot fixes Bethesda is going to release over the next month or the next few months. So. If you go next gen update, you really should avoid all script extender mods or be okay with having periods of time where you may have to wait for mods to update before you can get back in. But the alternative to this is to roll back to the version of the game before the next gen update came out. I made a video giving a step by step guide on how to do this and I will link it down below in the description and this is Fallout version 1.10.163. The script extender, address libraries, looks menu, buff out, and other popular mods are already built for this version of the game and have been updated, maintained, and used by hundreds of thousands of people for four and a half years. Prior to the next gen update, Fallout 4's last update on PC was December 4th of 2019. Every mod that was updated at that time and every mod created since then was built specifically for this version of Fallout 4. And adding to that, you will see most dependency mods in Nexus right now currently have two versions on their download page. One for the current next gen version and one for this previous version before the next gen came out. And if you do decide to roll back, you can be confident that your load order and game will be safe and stable and you won't have to wait or worry about any expected updates and fixes. This also allows you to maybe use some mods that we may never see updated to the next gen version because the game, as I said, was last updated in December of 2019. Many popular mods have been stable and running well and needing no updates since then. And some of these mod authors and creators have left modding or went on to other things. So there is a chance that some of these fan favorite mods are not going to be updated in next gen by the original mod creator, which means that they'll have to wait for somebody in the community to reach out to them, pick it up, and then go ahead and update it themselves. And that the time frame on that is your guess is as good as mine. And one last point and benefit to rolling back to the pre next gen version of the game is that mods like looks menu 
have yet to even be updated following the next-gen version of Fallout. And this is because they knew, following the next-gen update, that there were going to be several hotfixes and updates that follow. The same thing happened with Cyberpunk when they released Phantom Liberty. They put the game out, all the mods broke. Everybody rushed to fix the mods. Then they put out a fix. Then all the mods broke. Then they rushed to fix the mods. Then they put out another fix for Phantom Liberty and over. It was just a cycle over and over again. And nobody was getting to play the game unless they just did it mod free. So yeah, some of them are just waiting out the storm so they don't have to go through this mess over and over again every few weeks. And then you know what? Once all the little patches and fixes are done, everybody updates, mods update. And as that one guy said, and it, again, it, it just works. So guys, thank you. Hopefully this uh, helps some of you out. Maybe some of you that are confused with the two different versions of the game and why things are broken. And um, I'm going to jump into uh, a couple videos on some of my favorite Fallout 4 mods, including some newer mods that came out just before the next gen update. And two really cool ones that I saw after that. That's all going to be coming in another video. But until then, everybody take care, be safe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.